Cabless John Deere Combine? Oh, you betcha. Hey, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today I got 28 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 13 new and 14 updates. And console only, we got one new map. Let's check them out. Starting off today, new mods for all platforms. We have the John Deere 7000 series by Zervertex, Markin, and Cola Modding. We talked about this in Farm Sim News. As a matter of fact, we talked about this in Farm Sim News today, which released right before the mods were released. Let's check this one out. 148 horsepower, 300 liters of fuel, 15 miles per hour, 4,800 liter capacity. Design, we have clear windows or dark windows. Lights, we have square lights or rounded lights. Attachers, we have a rigid cutter or you have the flexible cutter in the front. I say always go with the flexible, just makes more sense to me. Tube tip, we have metal tip. We also have a rubber tip on there as well. Cabins, without cabin. We have an open cabin. Then we have cabin one and cabin two. Now, one thing to keep in mind, these windows will adjust with these. So they will not only work with the windows behind you, but they will also work there as well. And then engine setups, we have the 7100, again, 138 horsepower. You have the 7200, which will give you 148 horsepower, and the 7200 turbo, which will give you 162 horsepower. In addition to that, we get a header with it as well. This is going to be the John Deere 318 Master. Price is going to be 9,500 bucks. You've got a side nozzle with terrain topography, aka just a great header right here. Oh yeah, 5.5 meters and six miles per hour, max working speed. Now we do have a couple different configurations through here. Of course, you could fold and unfold, which is gonna open up right there. You've also got, of course, straw, uh, straw swath enable and disable. Now we'll raise up whenever that is enabled and disabled. Of course, naturally you have your pipe in and out. We've got all that. Plus we have a few things around the combine that we can move up and down. Of course, we have, well, we, we got doors, but we don't have those installed right now. And then we've got ladders as well. So that's pretty cool. One thing to keep in mind, and this may just be something that I'm having an issue with. It may be a mod conflict, but unfortunately I was not able to lower the header. So I'd actually had the header over here installed on the, uh, on this combine, and I was not able to get this to lower. So that may be something that you are encountering. I have sent a message to Servertex to see if this is just a me thing. I imagine it is, but I just wanted to let you know, just in case. If green's not your thing, then maybe the red fans will have something for you today. Yes, we do. We have the Case IH770 Disc Hero. This is gonna cost you 8,550 bucks, brand new couple of things that's going to add a little bit of price to it. So let's check it out. 200 horsepower required, 7.2 meter working width at nine miles per hour. Rim color, you got them all except for base game gray. Really the only one that I want. <laughs> you can put whatever you want on there. It doesn't really matter. Main color, this is where it gets interesting because you can actually change up the main color. It may be a case, but let's say... <laughs> Oh, I don't want to make it John Deere. You know, we'll just, go, we'll just do New Holland so that we don't get in trouble with anybody. There you go. So now you it's a case, but now it's the New Holland colors, which is kind of cool. Design, we have standard design. Uh, let's see, we have uh, decal or decal number one and back and forth between those and the wheel setups. We got three of them for you. We'll set up one, two, and three. Very cool. Next, we have the Case IH 720 series. These are going to be a set of plows. We have three of them. So you have a four furrow, a five, and a six furrow version. So the smallest version, the five or four furrow, this is going to be 100 horsepower required, 1.6 meter work width, seven miles per hour. Rim color, all the same. Main color, all the same. Are these mods made by the same people? Yes, they are. All right, so <laughs> we get the same customization here. Uh, let's see, I'm assuming decals are going to be the same. No, actually, decals are different. And then the wheel setups, uh, just between wheel and one and standard. Okay, cool. Same thing through here, room color, main color, decals on the other side. These are the same, so that is good. And then wheel setups all the same. And I'm guessing it's gonna be the exact same thing for this one. So it's actually kind of crazy. 2.4 meter plow, 240 horsepower required. I mean, I guess I'm just not used to using a bunch of plows, but dang, that's expensive. All right, so there you go. There is your Case IH 720 series. Next is gonna be the SIP Orion 25 Alp. This is a manure spreader for all platforms today. 4,000 liter capacity, 64 horsepower requirement, nine mile, or nine meter working width at 12 miles per hour. Rim color, you've either got red or gray. 
And his base game gray as well. Looks good. Configuration, we have old rotors or new rotors. You've also got a uh, side... I don't know what that's called. Uh, you've also got small. So this is going to be, I think, a trailer. Is that right? Yeah. So we can actually transform this into a trailer. 8,000 liter capacity on that trailer. Or you go to an even bigger trailer, 9,000 liter capacity. Or back to everything else. And then you have a couple designs here. Design wood and aluminum. Next up, we got something really cool for those of you that like to do trees. We have a new pallet saplings pack. These bad boys right here come in capacity of 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100, pa or, uh, 100 capacity. I think the normal ones are like 10, maybe something like that. Maybe 20. I, I can't remember. Uh, regardless, this is way, way better. And it's going to work perfectly. Of course, if you have the PC uh, mod where you can buy a bunch, well, then you're good to go there. One cool thing is the pallet saplings for a hundred of them is only a thousand dollars, which is going to like severely <laughs> make this so, oh, oh, it's not going to make it four thousand dollars. The price isn't changing. Interesting. Nonetheless, there you go. So we've got that, but we also have something that we can plant these with. And it is this on the far right hand side. So we have the PL75, which we do have in game. However, this one's a little bit different. We have color options. Yes. Main color A. We can do John Deere on this one. And then design color. Boop. How you like them apples? Yeah. So this is going to hold one set of pallets. So do keep that in mind. You can just put your pallets on the back, put a hundred of them on there or whatever you want through there. This requires 120 horsepower as one meter. Of course, well, it's, pallet, or it's a poplar, or not poplar, sapling. So it is what it is. And then four mile per hour, max working speed. Next up, new for all platforms, we have the Lizard Silage Roller. This is going to cost you three grand as a 2.9 meter working width. And you can change up colors so you could make it whatever color that you would like and that's about it that's all there is to it next up we got something that i think is really cool and i think this is going to be great for maybe like lone oak and places like that where you've got a garden but you can't use it like it doesn't do anything just put this on top of it <laughs> it's gonna be great this is the vegetable garden as an open greenhouse or selling station you heard that right with or without the fence with this one in the garden you can see salad tomatoes Salad? You mean lettuce? <laughs> hey, well, you can't see anything in there yet because we haven't added anything. Uh, these are going to gain you $120 in easy, 80 in normal, and 40 in hard. Um, that is going to be the same for both of these. You are going to need to give them some goodies, so do keep that in mind. You're going to need to give them water and manure. And then you've got a selling station here as well. So instead of just giving them <laughs> you can sell it now this looks completely different as you can see we got manure in there uh you've got everything this is what it'll look like actually when it's fully grown as you can see right here we've got nothing there this is cool yo i like this i really really like this next new mod for all platforms we have a silo for crops this is a silo for your basic crops daily cost 10 bucks per day price twenty five thousand dollars. compatible with seasons mod has the light and animations as well so with this bad boy right here let's turn on our help window see what we can get hide the discharge pipe so you can show or hide that that is really cool so that's going to be where your discharge pipe is and this is going to be where you dump your crop so you kind of dump it on the ground near it and you're good to go but you can hide that if you wish and then this comes over yeah I, I, you know what that's that's pretty cool now we can climb that but there's really not a whole lot to it there you go uh there's only one downside to this i love this mod it's really cool here's the downside <laughs> 40,000 liters. Not a whole lot going on with this, un unfortunately. Uh, and it will only do your standard crops. So your standard seven crops, wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soybeans, and corn. Next up, we have another silo. This is the Silo VTC. It's a story commodities for fertilizer and lime. It's just on one side, exit under the silo. Price is $30,000. Maintenance, two bucks per day. Capacity, <laughs> a whopping 10 million liters. It's ridiculous. <laughs> It's crazy, baby. This is where you put everything in. So lime and fertilizer in there. And then your lime and fertilizer will come out right there. <laughs> 10 million liters. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. That's great. If you were curious where the Polish buildings are, well, don't worry. We got two of them. We have a pack of Polish buildings today. First one is the Polish Old Style Barn. Of course it is. Daily upkeep, 20 bucks per day. Price $30,000 is seasons ready. And then we have the Polish Garage made by Brick. Of course it is. Daily upkeep, 20 bucks per day. Price 25000 so it's much cheaper. And seasons ready. And if that wasn't enough for you, we got some Polish houses too. We got a pack of Polish placeable houses. Price $50,000 each. Upkeep, 20 bucks per day. Season's ready. Ho, ho, get your Polish fix here. Have you ever wondered to yourself, DJ, I love Goldcrest Valley, but I want to use the decorations on every map. Well, now you can, thanks to Puma145, who brought us Goldcrest Valley, which we do have an update for today, by the way. They say use 21 models from Goldcrest Valley in other maps like the Basketball Court, Farm Silo, Straw Barn, Workshop, two different sheds, two objects with purchasable water, wood chip cell points, and 12 other models. You got a ton of stuff through here. You could basically remake Goldcrest Valley. This is so cool. And your last new mod for all platforms today is the Bergman HTW 65. Didn't we get this as an update yesterday? I'm so confused. Maybe that was something different. Call me out if it was something different. Let me know. Otherwise, here you go. You've got uh, the HTW 65 uh, again, <laughs> plus. I don't know. Configuration, we have 56,000 liters. You also got 61,000 liters on there. Will Brands, we have Trellebork and Michelin. Michelin, we've got a standard and a wide tire, which is nice. It's actually just wide and wide. Uh, design, you have without stripes, with stripes, cover, no, or yet. Yeah, we definitely got this yesterday. Come on. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. We start with exactly what we said, Gold Crest Valley by Puma145. This is going to be version 1.1.1. Change the base of the map the terrain modernization is fixed they've also added new crops of rye and triticale they've added paintable bushes changed the number of animals and pastures reduced the farmland prices added the grain silo from fs17 changed the bda fixed textures format and fixed a lot of visual bugs on the map next mod update is for all platforms and it is ravensburg version 1.1 now i got called out this morning by trucker mancy saying you're not gonna do the whole thing you're absolutely right i can't read this entire change log it's about three pages long but i will tell you they've added 100 maze plus forge and horse extension support for pc and mac only increase the height type limit for to 127 maybe 128 pc only things that they've done for everybody raise the capacity of cow husbandry to 200 cows fix the clip distance of the hot air balloons snow traffic signs are hidden without seasons reduce the volume of the ship engine and horn oh man they were really loud though added the possibility to plant trees added field grass as chicken food which is cool they've also fixed the snow missions in seasons fix the lighting in the machine hall all buildings at the farms are now placeable so that you can remove them or place them however you would like. They also have a new farmhouse, which replaces the one from Giants. It is placed at the correct position in a new save game only. So if you want that house, new save game is required. They've also moved some containers at the train silos, removed collisions at the contact wires of the railway line, and tons more. Check out the link below beside all released mods and check out Ravensburg for the full change log. We've got an update to the Lizard D838848 and this is gonna be version 1.2 added the broadside configuration, which you can see in front of you. And we've got an update to the Lizard D83. This is gonna be version 1.2, improve the textures. And an update to the Lizard D616 version 1.1, you guessed it, improve the textures. And if you thought we were done, we're not even halfway done. Hey oh, Lizard d4647 pack this is going to be version 1.3 but i mixed it up on you new tires yep that's what the chainsaw is new tires and a similar story for the lizard d35 pack this is going to be version 2.3 new tires our next mod update actually brings a new mod into the game this is going to be the case ih 2566 and 150 series pack by agritono version number two the combine harvester case ih model 2020 series 150 oh yeah we got a new combine heck yeah man let's check it out so 487 horsepower 510 liters of fuel 26 miles per hour 10,600 liter capacity rim color you got base game cray but all of them see look at this i can do whatever i want this is nice but we also have base game gray cough cough base game gray please <laughs> tires base game gray just put it in capacity settings we have standard we have 10,600 add supports, 
10,600 in Canvas, 13,010 with supports in Canvas, 16,000 and a foldable, which is 10,600. Very cool there. Will Brands with Michelin, Lizard, oh yes. And in Michelin, we have a uh, wide tire. We have reversed in the rear, twin wheels reversed in the rear, transport, which is nice, uh, reversed in the rear as well. Transport two, and then yep, transport two, and back to wide tires. And in Lizard, you you basically got <laughs> LSWs. What what is that? Those are big. That's a good year. That's what that is. I love it. Windows. We have standard. We have plus 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 standard <laughs> design. We have a monitor set up inside, which is nice. Pipe standard or movable tip. You always want to make sure that that's movable. You also have a foldable option, which is nice. Uh, and then you have standard. So that's cool. We'll always go with the folded there. Use the largest headers for that. Speaking of headers, attacher, we have rigid cutter or flexible cutter. Always go with the flexible engine setup. 6150. It's going to be 326 uh, horsepower. 7150. It's 378. Why did that say 400? That did say 400. So yeah, 487 horsepower. But then when we get down to the engines, that's not a uh, option. Interesting. Nonetheless, you got the 6150 and 7150 options. Included with this mod, you also get the Case IH 3162 Terraflex Draper 35 foot. It's 10.6 meters at six miles an hour, which is nice. However, I will tell you, if you have the header pack that has the, what was it, the New Holland and uh, Case IH headers in it. Well, that header comes with that pack as well. So that is kind of nice. It's actually by the same modder, which is awesome. I love that mod. Next up, we got a big boy for you. From Mantrid, we have the Roadrunner Plus. I want to give a huge shout out to Mantrid for sending this over early to take a look at. The uh, changelog is absolutely ridiculous but we're gonna take a look at it anyway so we've got new engine braking sounds that can be toggled on or off this does not affect braking power but you could pretend it does they've added the heavy hauler 950 horsepower engine configuration with more power and it is louder especially with the jake brakes this does call the traffic or calls the truck to slow down faster which is nice they've added the option for field safe narrow tires added the option for the bull bar told the driver to use safer hand-to-hand -hand steering method new animation new entry exit animation new adaptive headlights that rotate as you light up the sides new they actually cast shadows this can be turned on and off in the shop if needed which is like game changing absolutely they've improved the springs on the antennas or added springs to the antenna they have uh, mud flaps no longer immune to physics they move improve the tweaking additional camera positions improve the tweaking wheel physics a little bit more adjusted the added or um, adjusted metallic there's so much to this P paints to be better uh non-metallic paints to match uh improved mirrors continuing to be mirrors when outside the cabin fix the repaired driver's window which wouldn't roll up entirely warranty's been repaired at cosmetics they put larger spotlights on the roof as you can see right there to justify the amount of light they produce this truck is insane if you want a truck that is not a cab over this is the one you want. Next update for all platforms today is the Cowshare. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Snow has been put on the roof and objects for seasons like bell trigger for straw being built in. That is pretty cool. Not like it. It, it is. Ugh, my brain hurts. We've got an update to the big horse stable. This is going to be version 1.0.1 added snow roof. The objects in the seasons fixed a bug in the XML, adjusted the display of the animals in the shop and the Lulampen bug has been fixed. If you wanted some Polish updates, we got you covered. We got Polish buildings by Casper. This is going to be version 1.1, added translation for French, and added a new shed. We got an update to the grain silo. This is going to be version 1.001. Unloading area has been fixed, and seasons fix as well. And an update to the chicken food bag by Mr. Hector. This is going to be version 1.2. Lower the prices to be more friendly for the seasons economy. And lastly, today we've got a new map for console players this is going to be rasfit by den ben now welcome to the rasfit card the map contains 15 fields 12 points to sell installed cows and pigs bga additional crops of clover and alfalfa that have been added to the animal feed production and is seasons ready well how's about we jump in and take a look at this map now i am on pc right now but the map itself is the same there's just a few features that are different between pc and console matter of fact 
I would have preferred to use the console because the PC version requires global company. Boo! Nonetheless, this bad boy right here, as we said, <laughs> has tons of sell points and lots and lots of stuff. It's really nice. It's a flat-ish map for the most part. However, it's not completely flat. There is some undulation to the terrain. There is some changing in it. The fields are completely different. Each one is totally unique, including the massive one right there. Sunflowers, really? Come on now. We got all kinds of stuff for you. This is a really cool map. I like it. Let's take a look at the PDA right here. Of course, you can see we have some pretty massive fields all in all. $1.5 million for that one. $1.2 for that one. Uh, yeah, the rest of them are pretty smallish, comparatively speaking. You can buy the outside of the map. On PC, it costs you a whole bunch of money. On console, it may not cost you much of anything. So take a look at that and check it out. As far as what do you get in do farmer mode? Well, you get uh, two John Deere 6 Ilms. You get a 55, which gives you 164 horsepower. And then you get a 35, which gives you 142. Get to keep that in mind. You do get the large Rossum Ash. You get a tipper, header, plow, cultivator, uh, disc harrow rather uh that is also a direct drill you get a food mixer and then uh <laughs> that is a pc mod and then a, a, a front loader and bucket it's a really cool map i highly recommend that you guys check it out well guys that is gonna be it for today i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like on it get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the gohan fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i'll be tapped hope you have a great day we'll see you later Peace.